Right, to get started, this is uh, this a little carp or bluegill slider style fly. So I'm just going to use some uh, GSP and then we'll grab one of our little barbell eyes and we just want to attach that right on the bend of this hook. This is a, a partridge hook and it's their barbless jig hook. And we want that to be on there right at the bend. You don't want it to be super close to the eye, so we want to get that right in at the bend. Figure eight, and then kind of lash it on there. Then I just like to grab a little bit of zap gap, just make sure it's got some glue in there to hold it in. A couple more thread wraps, spread it out. Now we're going to start this with a couple of strands of uh, brassy wire. We've got some of this hot yellow and then black, both in black, uh, brassy size. So what we're going to do is we're going to do two strands of the hot yellow. And these strands you want about three, four times the body length just to be, uh, just so you can work with them. You don't want them too short. So I've got my strands and I'll kind of even them up there. And then we tie them in right here behind the, the eyes and even snag some of that glue that's in there and then you want to just pull them nice and tight out the back and then apply very even touching turns on the thread that's one of the nice things about the the GSP is that it lays flat and then come back the other way with your thread to just be for the eyes like that. And now what we'll do is we're going to begin turning this and you need to keep these all very tight and together. So you just want to grab all three of them and start, start winding that. And if you get some of these out of whack then, uh, then it's never a bad idea to go back and reapply the wrap. And then we're just going to go just before the eye we want to leave some space in there to stack our hair and tie in some other things, so we'll just tie that off right there. And go a couple wraps in front. And then grab your wire scissors. And just snip those. So what you should end up with is a nice, smooth, even body. Okay, next we're going to take some centipede legs, and uh, what I do is I'll just grab two strands, and we're going to double them over. So we'll tie the two strands in right in front of, so basically on the top of the hook, which will end up being the bottom, a couple of wraps, and then we're just going to pull them all four out directly back and then tie them all down and that way they'll just kind of splay out here at this angle. A few more wraps to secure them. And now I'm going to pull these out together and I want to cut them just right beyond the length of where the bend of the hook is. And if you give them a little bit of a stretch then they'll, they'll kind of pull back and be about right even at that point. Okay, so that's how we want that. Now I'm going to flip and invert the fly here. And so this is a slider. If you've seen a couple of the other videos we've done with sliders, it's, just, it's a really simple way to tie in a couple different colors of deer hair. So I've got deer belly, black, and a little a bright yellow. And so we're gonna make the black kind of be the base color and the yellow be the hot spot. So uh, this is a smaller fly, of course, so you don't need a gigantic amount. So I've got about, oh, 
a small pencil's worth. And even though we're not going to uh, spin this, we're going to stack it, it's still a good idea to clean out the under fur. And so you just grab your comb and you just kind of brush that out. And we are going to want the tips aligned, so I'm going to grab my little peak hex hack stacker here. Now when I pull these out, I'll sometimes grab some of the, the ones that got in there either upside down or just totally jacked up. And the other thing you can do is kind of pull out some of the stray fur fibers. Now we're going to set this so that the tips, the very tips are hitting right at the end of where the wire is tied in. Um, so then we want to switch hands and just hold that clump and you want to hold it right in that same spot and I'm going to do a kind of a soft loop and then another one and now I'm, keep a hold of this I'm going to yank down and now you can feel if you feel with your index and thumb index finger and thumb you can feel those fibers wanting to suck down in there after the second wrap so I'm just going to let them go and now I grab the bottom and kind of press up on some of these other fibers so that they stay up and out of the way. Okay, now I'm going to leave it there. A couple things. I've got the super glue in there so that's going to be a little sticky. It's not going to come apart. And now I want to go in and find the center, which is pretty easy because we've got nice tips and all this garbage out here. And that's going to be where we'll put in our second clump. And so you just make a little spot with your finger and then we'll grab our yellow and we're going to do the same. We'll just clip it, stack it. And now you don't want as big a clump here. So, um, because it can be a hot spot about half as much and we'll do the same thing. Now these ones you don't need to stack necessarily, but I guess sometimes I do out of habit, but, um, cause we'll trim most of these, but same deal. We're just going to let that fall right in the center. And then just be careful with your thread. You don't want to bind up a bunch of other fibers into the mix here. Okay, one wrap, two wraps. Okay, now I'm going to hold on to this whole clump. I don't want the yellow traveling on me. And I'm going to pull straight down and give that a tight tug. Okay, and that's it. Notice that the yellow is just nice and compact in its little area there. Now what we do is we t turn the fly back upside down. And then I'm going to take my thread and go around the eyes just once. I want to keep that there. And now we're going to put our dubbing on. And so I like to use this Arizona Diamond Dub. This is the Midnight Fire color. And usually I, I like to stack and tease out the fibers. A little more there. And that evens it up so that we can wrap this around the hook like I'm going to show you. So these are all fairly aligned. And I'll take my thread right from where I had it. Now I press the, the uh, dubbing against the thread, fold it in half, so now I've got all my dubbing like this, come back around the eye, I'm not going around the hook, just around the eye. Okay, now I've got that dubbing in there, I can pull that tight. Now that dubbing's not going anywhere. And we can actually whip finish this from right here. Okay, so to whip finish, kind of do the same the normal whip finish method that you're going to do, but I like to get my the upside down four here a little bit bigger and usually I can only get one maybe two wraps before I run out because it's making a big circle there. So I'm going to come up underneath and I'll do two two wrap whip finishes.
and that should do it. Now I just take my handy Velcro and brush that little throat out there a bit. Okay, nice and clean. Now I'll flip back to this orientation. Okay, I'm gonna grab my razor and then you just look up, you're, you're gonna bend the razor like so and then I just like to rest that right on the eyes, right above the the eye of the hook and then we'll make a pass at just trimming it okay now I like the the yellow to be basically all trimmed since it's a hot spot so we'll just push that back until all those fibers are trimmed just be careful not to get the black ones and you can come in here with scissors and actually clean that up a little better. And then you'll just come through here and do a few little cleanup runs with the razor and the scissors before you get it to how you want it. And probably the most important thing is just to get the uh, eye of the hook cleared out. So, there we go. All trimmed up, good to go.